Okay, guys. So, um, <clears throat> I was just thinking, and, uh, I kind of came to a conclusion, so I figured I would go ahead and post it. Make a small video of it, but just make a short. <clears throat> for any of you One Piece fans, like, I've been watching One Piece for, like, seven or eight years now. And I watch, like, reading the manga and all that. And recently in, uh, chapter, uh, 1072... It was revealed that Stussy is a clone of one of the uh, former Rocks Pirates. And so, of course, you know, the internet's going crazy and we're coming up with all kinds of theories about, you know, I don't know, um, how this could affect other parts of One Piece and blah, blah, blah. So, something I found interesting was, um, even now, there's going, there's Blackbeard videos going up about how he's the uh, clone of, um, of Rocks as a back. And it got me thinking, because uh, Luffy uh, apparently is, you know, uh, Joy Boy, uh, Sun God Nika, uh, and then Blackbeard is the antithesis of, Ju of uh, Luffy. You know, he's been that since day one. And um, so it kind of, like, I kind of get a Naruto vibe from it. How, uh, you know, they were both kind of the, the reincarnates, uh, reincarnations of the, uh, of the two brothers, um, you know, from, like, from forever ago. And then they were rebirthed throughout the ages. And I think that's kind of the way Oda's going with it. <clears throat> but the thing that got me was not the fact that, you know, who Blackbeard and Luffy, I mean, yeah, the Blackbeard and Luffy are like that, but Emu. Emu, whenever she was uh, first uh, hinted on, was by Do Flamingo, and he talked about how, uh, you know, it, it, it was the uh, the the uh, treasure of Merjua and then the perpetual youth surgery. So, meaning that Emu has the surgery, you know, the perpetual youth surgery, um, or not meaning, but you, know, you can draw the conclusion. So, I'm thinking that Emu was probably actually the mom of the original um, of the original two, the original two will indeed that now Luffy and Blackbeard are, are the reincarnations of, and that at some point in time, she had the, uh, the surgery done, so now she looks like a young woman who's walking around in Marajoua, and, um, yeah, and then has basically been, uh, in the shadows the whole time, but is really the mother of the entire, you know, of, of, of the will of D's. And, uh, I think that's kind of the way that Oda's playing with it. I think there's more, uh, like, that's kind of just my base idea of the thing. And I think there's more ideas we can draw from it. Um, like, you know, she probably is Three-Eyed Tribe. I don't know if she is or not, but that's, as far as what we've seen, the only other Three-Eyed Tribe is, uh, is Pudding. And we don't know who Big Mom banged in order to have Pudding. We didn't even know there was any other Three-Eyed Tribe members out there. We just knew that, hey, you know, wow, this chick's a three-eyed tribe member, and there's no other mention of any other ones. So even she might end up being a, a clone of a three-eyed tribe member, <clears throat> or, um, or you know, uh, the the formation kind of like how uh, like a clone like Vegapunk, Vegapunk made, or maybe one of the Mads or whatever. But anyways, um, so I'm not really gonna get into that. I really don't even completely support that. It's a thought, but I really don't stand behind it. But my main thought was being that Emu, uh, we've all thought of her, or her or him, but I think it's a her. And then that she was Joy Boy's original rival. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking that's probably not right. I'm thinking that Joy Boy's rival was his brother. And then Joy Boy became, you know, the sun god. Uh, sun god Nika, you know, happiness and all that. And then uh, his brother, whoever that was, became the other Will of D member. Uh, who went uh, evil, and then they've been resurfacing throughout uh, this, the, you know, the One Piece world, and then it's going to end with, uh, with um, Blackbeard fighting Luffy, um, and then Luffy having to go and actually uh, take care of his, his, well, not his mother, but the original Joy Boy's mother, um, kind of like, I think it's really pulling off the whole Naruto idea, and, uh, like how Kaguya had showed up, and, uh, and that's even beyond Naruto, I believe that gets into, like, Japanese mythology. But anyways, that's all I'm saying. Um, I won't keep drawing this out, but, uh, that's my idea. Um, I don't know, like, it. if you do, don't, you know, it's cool. Um, and, uh, I really don't do One Piece content. I think this first I've ever done. I might do some more in the future, but I really don't care to. But, um, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to post this. 
Um, but I will start baking on this channel because I'm actually a one piece enth one piece enthusiast, and I love to bake. So uh, and I'll probably do some workouts too. But that's all besides the point. Anyways, just check out the channel. Um, there's not really too much up right now, but I'm gonna be working on, working on putting more on there. Uh, so Trevor Stroud, um, yeah, check me out. See y'all later.